I want to tell you the untold story about Joe Jackson and the Jackson Five. Now I am the king maker of the king of pop. I am Gordon Keith. production amount that Atlantic Records was supposed to pay me was still supposed to continue through Motown, but they never paid me one red cent. So anyway, what Barry Gordon said to me, I want to ask him about that. He said, Gordon, you ain't got nothing coming, man, and hung the phone up. Tribute to Gordon Keith. Gordon is a fine man who was really the person that discovered the Jackson Five. My name is Ethel B. Wilbon Edwards. I'm a relative of Katherine Jackson. I'm a big boy now. What actually happened was. Mr. Keith Gordon had the, the, the radio station. He had the uh, recording studio, Steel CD Records. He's the one invested his time in helping the Jacksons. But when it came out to the real truth, because I helped promote that record and it became big, all of a sudden now, I'm nobody. Mr. Keith Gordon ain't nobody. And the mayor and Diana Ross come in from nowhere and say they discovered them. They act like I'm a big boy that never exists. You notice how many years it, it came before they even mentioned that record. They tried to push that under the rug like it never happened. So Diana Ross and Mayor Hatcher's story would look true to the world. My name is Leroy Phillips. I was a record promoter for Wonderful Records and United Record Distributors in the early 60s. That's where I first met Mr. Gordon Keith. There was rumors going around later on that Diana Ross discovered them. Uh, that is as far from the truth as the East is from the West. They were discovered by a man named Gordon Keith, who worked at the steel mill with Joe Jackson. Hence, that's where the name Steel Town Records come from. <laughs>